Hey everyone, this is Will, and in this video, we're going to take a look at creating USB host port reservations using Oracle for X series. Now, one of my particularly favorite features of iConnectivity interfaces is the USB host port. Now, that's a USB port on the interface that allows you to connect uh, multiple USB MIDI controllers to it. Now, on this Mio XM that I'm using for this particular video, I have four physical ports on the interface, but I could plug a powered USB hub into any one of these four ports and connect a USB. USB MIDI controller to that. And in fact, not just one, I could connect up to eight USB MIDI controllers to um, the that USB hub to use with my interface and my doll. Now, in order to manage all those connections, I need a way to basically say, every time I plug in this MIDI controller, I want it to go down the same exact path. With up to eight different MIDI controllers, I need to make sure that every time I plug a different MIDI controller in, whether it's going into a hub or directly into the interface, that it stays on that same port. That's that's going to uh, make sure my MIDI mappings persist when my controller is unplugged and plugged in. And that port is going to stay the same between my controller and my doll. So this is incredibly simple to do. Let's walk through how to make this happen. Now, before we even get to Oracle for X series and open it, um, let's connect our USB MIDI controller physically to our interface. Now, in the case of uh, my instance, I just have one USB MIDI controller I'm gonna use. And thankfully I have one sitting right here. So I'm just gonna connect this directly to the Mio XM. So we'll grab uh, our USB cable here. We'll first connect that to our MIDI controller. We'll set this aside for a moment. And then we're gonna connect this directly to the USB host port on our Mio XM. So we'll flip the interface over and let's get this connected just like that. Okay, and you can see my MIDI controller is powered up automatically uh, and everything is working. Now again, I could connect up to eight additional or seven additional, eight total USB MIDI controllers, uh, but I need a way to make sure that every single time I plug the MIDI controller in, that the path from my controller to my doll um, and the path from my MIDI controller through my interface stays consistent in the same. That's where that USB host port reservation comes in. So over in Oracle for X series, we're gonna go to USB host port reservation and we're gonna look at port one here. You see connection status is this MIDI controller port one but we want to reserve it. And again, reserve it means we want to make sure every time we plug that controller in, it stays on that same port. So I'm going to go to my drop down here. In the case of this particular MIDI controller, because there's only one port and there's only one uh, device or controller connected to uh, my interface, it's pretty simple. So I'm going to choose port one. But for your particular MIDI controller, you may have multiple ports. You may have multiple things plugged in. You want to make sure that you choose the correct thing the correct path uh, so that again, that path is consistent every single time. So with that, I've made my USB host port. And what that means is every time that I use this controller with this interface uh, and send that to my DAW or to a different destination on that interface, the path is gonna be consistent and is going to work consistently. So if you have any questions about creating USB host port reservations that was not covered in this video uh, or any questions about your particular setup, make sure to reach out to iConnectivity support. You could do that using the information below in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.